welcome to spiritual message the government has extended the lockdown period in india many are disturbed by this severe anxiety is gripping some rightly so what we are experiencing now is a general lockdown in our life there are also other types of experiences of lockdown for example we retreat from social life temporarily when we are sick or when we meet with failures during that period there is less interest to meet people or not much interest even to eat anything it may look like a kind of depression these are temporary experiences we know that it is temporary but there are times when we do not know how long these experiences are going to last in that case it creates anxiety it is this anxiety that we need to deal with only a strong faith can help us in such situations our faith should come to our rescue otherwise it is not faith at all for that we need to just remember what saint paul taught us in romans 8:28 we know that in everything god works for the good of those who love him whom he has called according to his plan please pay attention to this category of people those who love him do i come in that category yes i need to be in the category of those who love him love god the father as i said in the previous video bear fruit god loved us even before we knew him and loved him god's love is an everlasting love but the problem is that love of god in us is not everlasting it is fluctuating from situation to situation for example there is a certain amount of love of god in us when we receive holy communion or when we are in prayer or helping the poor or appreciating good in others or making some sacrifices or reading the scriptures very devotionally and attentively etc but will there be same amount of love of god in us when we eat food or when we refuse to respect our parents or when we are angry with somebody or when we react by shouting at someone how much love of god will be there in us when we speak ill of others when we believe the rumors about others and spread them when we falsely accuse others when we take revenge on others when we take pleasure in the sufferings of others etc this is just to show how we can be with lots of love of god in us at a certain times and with a lesser and lesser love of god in us at some other times this is what we need to examine it seems once a mother in law and a daughter in law were fighting with each other at home at a particular moment one of them realized that it was time for mass so she said let us go for the mass now the rest we will continue when we come back some after the mass walk back talking ill of others it looks very interesting isn't it but it is the reality we find some taking an interval from doing evil and do some good works but thereafter when they come back and continue the evil work they were doing earlier even with renewed vigor and enthusiasm it goes to show that man is capable of doing good and bad at the same time it might be argued that the so called evil is done thinking that it is something good but we know that it is not the case always let us accept that man is capable of doing evil knowing that it is evil that is what is called a sin deliberate violation of god's commandment otherwise we may have to say that there is no sin at all 
man does good knowingly and man does bad too knowingly when we are doing good there is more love of god in us and when we do evil there is less love of god in us it is in this context i say that we need to assess ourselves and see whether there is love of god in us or not and if there is to what extent or how much it is about those in whom there is love of god the word of god says for those who love god everything will work for the good it is this type of people who are called according to his plan all of us are called by god according to his plan so there must be love of god in us then everything will work for the good for us one more condition is to be fulfilled if this promise has to come to be true for those called by god according to his plan music is complete only when it is heard giving is complete only when it is received similarly calling according to his plan is complete only when there is cooperation from those who are called therefore what is required here is cooperation of man to the plan of god then only in everything god works for the good of those who love him whom he has called according to his plan will be fulfilled so in the love of god we have to accept the plan of god even if it is against our liking or desires this must be our faith that god has a welfare plan for us we strongly believe in jeremiah 29:11 where it tells us very clearly for i know the plans i have for you declares the lord plans for peace and not for disaster plans to give you hope and a future therefore lockdown or no lockdown this is the promise of the lord that's why saint paul asks in romans 8:31 if god is with us who can be against us therefore my dear friend lockdown or no lockdown it is our faith that is going to sustain us so don't be worried of lockdown everything is temporary or if the worst comes we will learn to live with covid-19 everything will pass away but god and his faithful love for us do not pass away god's love for us is everlasting because god is eternal So in response let us also love God more than anything else and more than everybody else with all our heart with all our mind and with all our strength then we will find love peace and joy thanks for dedicating your valuable time to listen this spiritual message may the love of god in you and your strong faith in god truly overflow to others always god bless you amen